Hey guys, happy 4th of July. I'm here with you today to do a fresh uh, boat review. This is a wreck boat review of the Perception Wave 10.0. Now this is a 10 foot wreck boat. It is 29.5 inches wide. Uh, it's got some great outfitting in it and I'll show you that in just a second here. seat in here with some bands that are fully adjustable um, really comfortable backrest nice padded seat with a cup holder in it the foot pegs are on rails that are adjustable easily that one's a slid off of course uh, because I'm doing this on video and but they're very comfortable foot pegs fully adjustable you know my opinion of perception kayaks in general I like them um, they're high quality, good plastic. This has got some uh, slots in it again for good tracking. It actually has a little uh, skid plate here on the stern for dragging it up and down beaches and hitting boat ramps and whatnot. So again, 29.5 inches wide. Uh, I Just eyeballing this, it looks a lot like my Perception Swifty. And uh, I'm gonna get in it, take it for a test paddle here. Uh, on some beautiful water and come back with my thoughts and uh, review. Alright guys, so this is an incredibly stable platform. It feels very much like my Perception Swifty. 29 and a half inches. Y you really would have to work to flip this thing over. I mean, it's just really rock solid in stability. Yet it feels kind of fun and nimble. So let me go give it a little paddle and uh, let you know what I think. So one thing I should point out is I'm using a monstrously long wing paddle. I think this is 230 centimeters long. So this guy is just a monster, but I keep one of these on hand for when I'm, uh, you know, out on the beach on vacation as I am right now, and I'm using a rental boat or something like that. I still like to have a wing paddle. So this boat, it tracks very well. Um, it's very comfortable. You can adjust the foot pegs. I'm nowhere near the end and I've got kind of longish legs. And it's got padding by the knees here. The seat is, is extremely comfortable. There are no hatches in this thing, but it does have foam pillars for flotation on the inside. I think these sold for about $350 or maybe $400 brand new. I think they're selling used now. If you can pick one of these up for a couple hundred bucks, maybe $250, even, maybe even $300, depending on your, your tolerance and threshold. It's an awesome boat. It's a great wreck boat. You're going to be able to do class one and cl class two rivers with this as well. So if you're looking for a good all around boat that's comfortable in a bay or in a lake or down mild rivers, I would say this is a, a really good boat. So thank you. Happy 4th of July once again. And you know what to do. Like this video, share it, subscribe to my channel, and I've got some more boat reviews coming for you soon. Take care.